This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Here's the latest in all things mobility. Every day I hear about a new way of getting around. With so many options, it becomes overwhelming and costly to figure out the best way to move around your city. Not to mention all the freaking apps you gotta download to use these various forms of transportation. It's simple, just download our app. Okay, it is not that simple. My phone is out of space. Now I've gotta delete the video of my nephew's birthday party so I can ride one of these scooters? So out of touch, seriously. Fortunately, a company called Siemens Mobility wants to fix your commuter woes. It's working with cities to develop an app that becomes your one-stop shop for transportation, from ride shares and public transit to last mile options like bike and scooter shares. As of now, a pilot program is being launched in Columbus, Ohio, and if other cities catch on, we could finally get relief in our wallets and our phones. The aptly named Robocar is the world's fastest autonomous car as recently awarded by the Guinness Book of World Records. It reached 175 miles per hour with four electric motors and a mere three years of development, which is impressive in its own right. The builders of Robocar believe it could reach nearly 200 miles per hour. They also want it to be the front runner in the autonomous racing series called Robo Race, where robotic cars smash each other with chainsaws. Oh, they have chainsaws on Robo Race now? Well, we had them on BattleBots. I mean, I just assume every robot vehicle show has chainsaws. <laughs> Why not? Dubbed APT, short for Autonomous Pod Transport, this advanced drone can hit 75 miles per hour, carry a 70 pound payload, and fly a full 35 miles before a recharge. Oh, and it's made by an 80 year old helicopter manufacturer. How do you like them apples? Bell's ATP-70 recently performed its maiden flight, pulling off takeoffs and landings in gusty winds without a hitch. Originally developed for NASA, the drone is capable of fully autonomous flight without human oversight. Now, while Bell's drone pulls off the impressive ability to switch smoothly between vertical and horizontal flight for takeoff and landing, I have a way more serious question. How will it keep from spilling my thirsty two-ouncer? On an actual serious note, Bell's creation proves legacy aviation companies can still teach those young whippersnapper tech dudes a thing or two about innovation. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech, and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Keep them doggies rolling, 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 ride. Yeah! It does burnouts? Great, you're real excited. And an old school helicopter, <laughs> radical new vehicle. That's exactly how I'm gonna say that. Okay, I forget. Teach it to me again. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.